Okay. You got her on? Yep. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's better. It's yeah. I love coming here. Me too. Uh, this morning, I want to talk about the spiritual seasons of life. And we do have spiritual seasons. Um, but there's different kinds of seasons. There's, it can represent a stage you're going through or a time you're going through. And, um, there's a song that was written by the birds, B-Y-R-D-S, back in the 60s. Well, they sang it. They didn't write it. It's actually from the Bible. And it's called Turn, 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 or A Time for Every Season. And it kind of explains the different types of seasons that people go through. It says that um, for everything there is a season, a time for every purpose under heaven, a time to be born, and a time to die, a time to plant, and a time to pluck up that which has been planted, a time to break down, and a time to build up, a time to weep, and a time to laugh, a time to mourn, and a time to dance. For everything there is a season, and a time for every purpose under heaven. And while I was thinking of this song for my talk, I coincidentally, well, there's no such thing as coincidence, so by not co coincidence, um, <laughs> a friend of mine called me to ask if I'd do the funeral for her sister she lost, so I thought, good time to put that in there. So I, I read it at the service <coughs> and felt that the song kind of explains what the deceased person had gone through. It was their season to, to cross over. It was the autumn of their life. And it also helped those who were left behind to <coughs> grieve that there's a time to weep and a time to mourn, but also a time to, to laugh and to dance. There's also other kinds of seasons. The one we know, the one we're familiar with are the seasons that we experience here in Canada. And if you've lived here for a year, you know what the seasons are, but the previous years, this 2014 wasn't a very good example. It was all wrong. Yes. <laughs> I'm still waiting for summer, so maybe it'll come for Christmas. <laughs> I put that on my wish list. <laughs> so God, or spirit, is so organized that he or she divided the year into four quarters known as the winter, spring, summer, and autumn. And Spirit guaranteed us these seasons to specify the order of nature. But are you aware that every person goes through four seasons as well? Did you know that every church or foundation goes through four seasons? Did you know that your marriage or relationship goes through seasons? Seasons affect us all and everything we do. The seasons occur, accord, uh, occur depending on where you are geographically. Seasons tell us what to wear, especially outdoors. So how many of you are planning to wear your bathing suit outside today? <laughs> or to bundle up and go skiing in July? So that's another thing. Seasons tell us what to do. We go to the beach in the summer. Uh, we plant seeds in the spring. Seasons have an effect on what we eat. We always look forward to the summer, to those big juicy watermelons and the fresh fruit and the ice cream and lemonade. And in the winter we tend to eat more like stews and soups and hot chocolate or hot toddy. <laughs> seasons can affect our moods and attitudes. We find we're in better moods when we're in the season that we enjoy the most. But seasons aren't just defined by natural or nature's seasons that we ex experience each year. It can refer to, as the song said, to time, a stage, or a process that someone or something is going through any period of time. A time characterized by a particular circumstance or feature, such as in season of religious awakening. We all experience spiritual seasons, and it's surprising how we can 
use each of the nature seasons to symbolize our spiritual seasons. The seasons change in our lives depend significantly on where you are spiritually. There's a way to record the seasons in nature just as there is a way to record the seasons of spiritual seasons. We hear about the autumn of one's life, which means coming to the end of their life. And it doesn't mean it has to be in autumn. It can be any time of the year. It's just the, the symbol comparing the two. Spiritual seasons are not weather related. They're more related to spiritual growth and development. We can use nature's seasons to be symbol symbolic to spiritual growth. The spiritual seasons one goes through are not necessarily occurring at the same time as the nature's seasons. Each one is different, just like the nature's seasons can be different, like the winter we had last year, the ice storm, that's not, doesn't occur every winter, or like the past summer we just had, it's not our typical summer. So God's natural seasons versus spiritual seasons. So the, the natural seasons, as we discuss and we all know them, are made up of four divisions of the calendar year, marked by changes in weather, ecology, and hours of daylight, which results from the yearly revolution around the, of the earth around the sun, S-U-N. Spiritual seasons depend on our personal relationship and how our lives revolve around the sun, S-O-N, or spirit. The natural four seasons are so complementary, so synchronized, that even though each has its own characteristics, one could not operate on its own without the help of the other three. The rainy season, which we usually get in the spring, brings forth rain for sowing, and the season of the harvest, autumn, brings forth crops and gardens. So we need each of the four seasons to, to help each other. They help one another. The spiritual seasons, just as we have the natural seasons, there are also spiritual seasons. And God, our spirit, gave us the natural seasons we go through as we go through our daily acts of living. Everyone is in a spiritual season. You are in one of the four spiritual seasons right now for a divine purpose. Spirit is working to bring you out of self, self-satisfaction, contentment, also known as smugness, or preparing you for some distinctive, exclusive role or position in life. So allow spirit to help get the most out of whatever season you are in right now. Within your spiritual seasons, you will notice changes in every aspect of your life. The more you develop, the more you'll notice the changes. And that includes your marriage, your relationship, your careers, your children, your friends, your finances, everything that involves you. So let's look at each natural season and compare it to in relation to spiritual seasons. As we know, the natural winter is the season of the shortest days. It's the coldest um, with snow and ice and limited sunlight. It's the time you feel cold and uncomfortable. Definitely not the time to plan, to plant, but to begin planning what you are going to plant in the next season. So your spiritual winter is a time of darkness. The trees are bare and flowers have withered and died. We may even feel that spirit has deserted us. Or, but this is the time to curl up with spirit, in spirit's lap for warmth and intimacy. There, he or she, will give you directions for planting new seeds in the spring. This is a time we may feel lost, unsure, struggling to find ourselves, 
to find our directions in life. This is a time where a lot of you, including myself, have started coming here to find ourselves, to find the answers, and to go to the Wednesday night meditations, to take the classes. <coughs> this is due to the darkness that you were in, to find yourself and move forward, to spiritually grow. Winter is a time for assessment, planning, and preparation. It's the time to shovel snow and ice from the driveway of your mind. The time to learn to find your way, plot a route on the icy roads you are about, you are on about your daily living. It's a time when devotion, adoration, love, and honor should be a natural habit, for it will keep your heart warm before a divine spirit. Spiritual winter is the time to plan for the upcoming seasons. So we have our natural spring, marks the transition from winter into summer, the in-between. It's a time for romance and passionate descriptions of buds and blossoms. The time for sowing. Spring brings new leaves and blossoms on the trees. Your spiritual spring is the time to plant and carry out lessons gathered from your spiritual winter. Being with spirit through the winter will give you the spiritual and physical energy to break up your unplanted grounds. Spiritual spring is the time to come out of the darkness of winter. Flowers will push up through the earth. Birds will chirp and start to nest and you'll enjoy the first warm breeze upon your face. This is the time you start to grow, to learn to make use of what you have learned and how to use it. Spring reminds us of the eternal cycle of death, rebirth, and renewed life. And we have our natural summer. It's the warmest time of the year, the longest days. It's usually hot and dry, usually. <coughs> we put away our winter coats, and we stay outside longer. We enjoy the sun on the beach and the shade in the park. We go on vacation to get away and experience new places and new people. Summer is a time of spiritual development. Your spiritual summer is the time to water what has been planted during the spring. It's also time to weed out what shouldn't be there. It's a time of both growth and stillness, of hard work and relaxing. It's a time for both work and play. Everything seems to come to life after a long winter and spring. We find ourselves in a world filled with God's creatures and plants, the glistening of the water, the warmth of the sun, we enjoy the sounds of the children playing outside and the smiling faces and greeting nods of the neighbors you haven't seen for a while. Spiritual summer is the time to pause and reflect. It's the time to play, relax, and also enjoy some leisure time after working at planting your seeds. It's the time to plow up or clear up and cultivate the soil, a time to grow. You are growing spiritually. In summer, the flowers are in full bloom. The fruit is ripe and ready to be picked. It's during this spiritual season that we develop the fruit of the, of the spirit. We read in Galatians 5.2.2, but the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Are these qualities displayed in your life? And now the natural autumn marks the transition from summer into winter, when night becomes noticeably early. If the previous seasons have been followed correctly, then autumn is a time of harvest for crops. It's a time of maturity, wisdom, ripeness, time to reap what you have sown. 
and your spiritual autumn. If you have been conscientious and attentive in your past spiritual seasons, this is a time you will see proof <coughs> and ver verification of your hard work. With an awareness of the season you are in, you will be able to step into new spiritual truths and a greater ability to flow in the power of spirit. You will realize from what you have sown and now have reaped that spirit has an abundance supplied for your needs, not wants, and it does exist. Autumn is the time of both beginnings and endings. So enjoy and embrace the season you are in as it will change. Be ready to accept the season you are about to enter. Accept the spiritual season you are in, embrace it, work on it, enjoy it, and then move on to the next season. You will feel yourself progressing each season and you will feel the love <coughs> of mankind and spirit. To everything, to everyone, there is a season and a time to every purpose under heaven. God bless, and thank you for allowing me to share with you.